girl. Uh, about nine months. Has she ever been on a treadmill? Never. Is she a high energy girl? A little bit. She's a whiner. We all know that. <laughs> so, why do we utilize a treadmill? This is about uh, weather. This is about you don't feel well today, you hurt your ankle, you have the flu, knock on wood. This is about um, anxiety. This is Mother Nature's cure for anxiety. There is no Xanax in the wild. I don't believe in medicating a dog. Um, I believe in putting the brain in a state of mind, a state of mind of meditation or relaxation. This takes away squirrels, cats, buddies, birds, dogs, cars, <laughs> and allows the brain to go. How do we keep all four paws on this thing at the same time? Beautiful. The average dog about 30 minutes. Today, Carly will do 10. Tomorrow, she can do 15. The next day, she can do 20. I've had a dog that wants to be on there for 45 to an hour. The dog's young and healthy. Puppies, eight months of, old, of age, where's a shelf? Her bones aren't completely developed. I don't want you to run her on the treadmill. You can walk her on the treadmill, okay? Um, we start a dog off walking. She will be on leash. These are boards. What are these boards to limit her options? If a dog can climb on the treadmill, and climb off the side when she's done working on what working out, then she's made a decision. Making decisions is everything that we learned today. We're not going to allow our dogs to make decisions anymore. Yes? Okay. So the average dog, I can put load her up five times with her, five times without her, and then hit start. I don't know what's going to happen. I've had a dog. How long did Lexington take to teach on the treadmill? Do you remember? 45 minutes? Double leash? Yeah. You were there. You helped me. Okay. So first, let's check our equipment. It's plugged in, I think. Yes. So I go up on my treadmill, and I want to see how does it start. Um, this one has a slider. This is my sound. It's got a nice, nice smooth start. It's not bad. It's nice. She's interested in it. Some dogs like to bite it. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do is it's got a nice smooth. I'm going to hit stop. Good. It's got a nice slow kind of stop. So you just want to make sure that you check your equipment. My boards, my sideboards, you don't have to buy plexiglass. I just, uh, these are for seminars. You can use a piece of baby gate. You can use a piece of Luan, a piece of, uh, uh, what's the heck's it called? I don't know. Board. 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 Yes. <laughs> yeah. Slide it in there because now it's just kind of slid in there. This will move, but I'm, I'm hoping it's high enough for her. I have had dogs climb up the board you know, try and get me at the chest. This is what I'm working with today, and we'll see how well she does. Um, second thing is I've tied leashes. In the beginning, a dog will be on a leash on the treadmill, and then we graduate to no leash. And the beautiful thing is no leash, no boards. You can be getting a shower while your dog's on the treadmill. It's at a time you're on your phone, so you don't forget her. <laughs> what I'm going to teach is the only way on the treadmill is the back door. And the only way off the treadmill is the back door. That way, when she's walking, if she decides she's done, as she does this to get off, it's a feeling of falling. Mother Nature takes over, like her death, and she will move forward again. I, uh, one of my dogs, Dahlia, was off leash on the treadmill in three days. Uh, Puma took six months. I mean, it just depends on the dog. Initially, what you're going to do is stand next to your dog, and then you can have a chair with your laptop, your TV, and you get some work done. Your dog can be getting her workout. The average dog needs two 30-minute structured ses sessions of exercise a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Oh, come on. You can't give your dog an hour? I know. So say you get one good structured walk in and the other one's at night and you come home and it's freezing and your dog's on the treadmill. At least state of mind stays, you, you, you practice migration. Make sense? Okay, ready? May I have the puppy? <coughs> so I'm going to check her collar. I'm going to bring it up high like this and her pieces are still touching, but I'll work with it. Okay, so um, my hand is closer to her head and I need a runway. So I'm going to put her on my right because I think Melissa's filming. So I'm going to come around this way. And hopefully she will slam on the brakes and knock it on the treadmill, just like Bailey did. Okay, ready? Come on, Mom. <laughs> Everybody sees the pressure? Good. Release the pressure and walk up. What didn't I do? React like you all did. I didn't pull the leash. Everybody saw it? I just stood still. Now, that was her first load, I call it. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to grab the leash here. I know it seems silly. I'm going to position myself. Shh. Loose leash. How's my picture look? Good? She's pulling. Shh. 
Now, that's the behavior that gets her off of the treadmill. If you let a dog off the treadmill that's pulling, whining, scratching, association is I act like a maniac, and that's what gets me off the treadmill. Switch hands. Put your hand closer to her head because that's where my power is. Make sure it looks perfect. Back. Good. And then I go right back up on the treadmill. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. If I had hesitated, she would have hesitated. Turn around, grab your trip, grab your uh, leash. Hi, little one. A little bit of pressure up right there. You see that look I got? Steve, you wanted to know how to get your dog to look at you? I added the tiniest bit of pressure. She went like this, and I reduced the pressure to say yes. I know. So a little bit of pressure. Hi. Loose leash, perfect picture, off the treadmill. That was load number two. Bad. I'm not getting super tough dogs today. That's right. <laughs> it's like hiring a dog for a movie. You never know what you're going to get. Beautiful, wasn't it? Grab my leash, turn it around. You sure you have for adoption? <laughs> <laughs> this picture doesn't look good, but what I'm going to do is hold. I'm going to 90 degree angle, something we didn't get to do. I'm going to 90 degree, and then I'm going to step up. That keeps her in position. Reduce, up, oh, add. Reduce, add. Perfect picture of her off the treadmill. Setting precedent for her treadmill lane for the rest of her life. <laughs> what was that, three? Okay, off we go. Oh. Beautiful, grab, turn around. Oh, hello, hello, I know. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, mm -hmm. nice, right? When did I give affection? When I didn't have to make something happen for the girl who asked me, do I give affection? Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Number four, notice the arm to the right. Make my picture look better. Oh, that's good. What word did I just say? Up. Oh. So I do use obedience commands, but I attach them to a behavior as it's happening. So I can just say, up. Oh. Nice, huh? Is that four or five, guys? The baby. Look at the baby. She's already learning on her own. This is association. How many people can't get their dog on the scale? So this is the scale. If you just get a runway and you make it happen, and when you get that resistance, you just hold on, hold pressure. So this, what the heck, right? Ninety degree angle, step up. See how far I went? Because I'm not going to stand. You got to just make it happen. Okay, spin her around. Shh. Reduce the pressure. Perfect picture. Off she goes. Stop making your face. <laughs> Grab a leash. Number two. The average dog, five and five. It's only the first day, guys. You don't have to do this on day number two. Day number two, you're going to bring the dog up, clipper, and start her. This is just the association. Everybody see that? Beautiful. So it's two. Mm -hmm. Come on, mommy. Three. Beautiful. Look at your face. Look at your face. <laughs> God, she's cute. Stop whining. She's ready. She's ready. Stop whining. You work on it, right? Yeah. She was doing. To me, I don't waste my energy on my ounces on what she was doing. I just want her to be with me. So I barely touched and she was like, oh, 80 day, we're doing something else. Agreed? Is that four? Okay. Energy in the room, everybody. Project positive. It's going to happen. We're all in this to win it, yes? The dog struggles, please. <gasps> okay. So here, don't like my picture. Yeah. Better not. If I give 
for an energy to follow as you see the dog moves. Don't just stand there and do that and be yankers. Okay? Come on, babe. Good. Click. Hold. Click. Reduce. Everybody sees the picture? Back up your body. Just add an inch for you guys. Bring it around. Little dance. Good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. And up she goes. Typically, if I'm on this side, this is <laughs> this is <laughs> this is the side that the dog would want to pull toward, looking for escape. So, <laughs> so do you see the meanie look I gave her? Because I wanted her to know I was serious. So I'm gonna clip her Martingale style collar here. So I've limited her options, yes? I don't know that she needs a second, but I'm just gonna do it just to help her out. So I'm gonna kinda come in and add a little bit of pressure. Good. So very calmly, I'm standing here. I'm going to project positive. Energy is her second form of energy. I don't expect her to not do it, I expect her to do it. If she flies off the front, if something messed up happens, more opportunity to teach you guys. Deep breath, everybody. Gonna struggle. Pressure means no. Release means yes. Pressure means no. Release means yes. Pressure and release at its finest. There's no human with emotion on the other end. There's no, there's nothing. I don't touch a dog when she's on the treadmill. I don't need to. This leash communication is everything. My body here is a block and it's also serving as sharing my calm energy with her, telling her the situation is safe. If you have a dog climb up the board, I typically start with spatial and I might have to touch the leash. So she's not going fast enough, right? She's a little bored. I have to start slow, guys. One foot in front of the other. And relax. I have no reaction to my dog having any kind of trouble on the, on the treadmill. Take her off for that. 
If I take her off for that, association is, that kind of behavior is what gets the treadmill, gets me off the treadmill. She's quite, not quite ready to go a little faster. So she's still kind of a little ADD. She's not my best treadmill student. She's certainly not my worst. Getting there. So all I did was, when I saw panic, is not panic, slow the treadmill down. Get back to your starting point. What worked? <clears throat> making sense to everybody? Is everybody seeing how beautiful this is? How you could sit in your warm house with a cup of tea and a laptop and have your doggie on the laptop, on the treadmill? Everybody understands why I'm not talking to her. This is affection. I'm sharing all of my time and energy with her. I'm right here with her. I'm not going to let anything bad happen. There is an emergency pull-out button on every treadmill. Please have your dog go to the bathroom before she gets on the treadmill. Please, um, Take her out to poop immediately after she's on the treadmill. Um, I like to go by the 30 minute swimming rule. Don't feed her a big bowl of food and then shove her on the treadmill. Even though it takes them four hours to digest their food. Well, number one, I stopped talking to you guys, put all my attention on the dog, make sure there's nothing I need to do, and went right back to talking to you. Is there ever a time I can put both dogs on?
I just messed up everything I just did. So I'm going to make sure she doesn't do that. If this board fell on her while she's on the treadmill, good luck getting her back on. <laughs> Negative association. It's like a crate that falls, or a, a, a baby gate that falls on a dog. And you want to go back to it? Here, pressure up. Shh. Reduce the pressure. Gorgeous picture. Good girl! Oh, oh, oh thank you, girl. You did such a good job. Everybody sees Wayne on giving her affection. She did a great job, didn't she? Is that how you guys?